One of the things men can do to really accelerate their relationship is to just start accelerating themselves. Stop telling your wife what to do. Stop telling her how to be. Let her do what she's doing and then just start focusing on you and then some compelling vision that will drive you forward and pull you from the future. In other words, getting excited about something and letting that excitement pull you into where you need to go. What this will do is this will stretch the relationship. She'll feel that, oh, he's growing and he could potentially move past me and move away from me and I must come and try to match him. Now she'll feel the stress of that. And if you're with a conscious woman, she'll know what that is immediately. And then she'll start doing stuff like if you're going to the gym, you're starting to look better and, and losing weight or you dress better and you get a nice haircut, then she'll start doing the same thing. She'll start going, oh wow, he's getting much better looking than I am. I probably should up my game too, you know, because want to lose my guy. But most relationships don't have that kind of a self-awareness. So what ends up happening is this one partner starts to grow, the other one will start to sabotage it. So he'll want to go to the gym and she'll be like, oh, you never spend time with me. And she won't reveal that what's really going on. She's just feeling insecure that you're going to leave her, that you're going to be better than her. Or you'll try to like lose weight and all of a sudden all this new snacks are in the house and she'll sabotage this. Sometimes it'll be unknowingly, sometimes it will be knowingly. And so for you as the guy trying to lead a relationship and trying to lead yourself to greatness, you have to be able to have the strength and wherewithal to get past even these things and set the boundaries of like, hey, don't bring this stuff in the house. It's just sabotaging what I'm doing. And then if she says, well, that's your problem. This is what I want. You want to do it. Then you're dealing with a whole different issue that she obviously doesn't care about your goals and whatnot. And there's a lack of empathy there. You're going to have a hard time moving forward. And you're just going to have to say, well, I'm just going to do this without you. And then you got to be very strong and very committed and convicted in your endeavor. But the fastest way to turn any kind of relationship around is to be the one who goes first. That means to lead means to go first. If you'd like to know more about this kind of concept of leading, you can find me at genuineattraction.com and my name's Ed Baxter.